I thought that we would have got uh, uh, more votes than, uh, uh, than, than, than two really. But the, the reality is, is that, um, and the same with, with uh, uh, the Olympic bit and, and uh, the IOC members, is that you go and talk to an IOC member and uh, they take on your point and think, yeah, no, that, that's, that, that's, that's very valid and uh, yeah, I like your bid from this point of view. And uh, that um, um, we can say that uh, we will possibly vote for you. Do you think, oh, that, that's a tick in the box? But the reality is, it's behind closed doors. So nobody knows of, of, uh, uh, of FIFA. It's a bit difficult because there's, there's only 22 of them. Uh, it's, it's easy to find out. But uh, in some ways, is that what you actually get promised is it doesn't always deliver. Um, I think football, that we have been a little bit arrogant over the years. Uh, and we always talk about football coming home. Um, and that sort of gets me a little bit. So why, why are we the home of football? Um, yes, we, we do start most competitive sports over the history of, uh, of sport in general, but we can't play on that. We've got to play a, of, of the pluses going forward. Now, I think that our technical bid for the World Cup was probably the strongest out there. So to get two votes is a pretty damning a response on our country in some ways. I don't know if it's the, uh, uh, the free press and, and uh, uh, the, that side of it that, uh, that FIFA haven't uh, enjoyed and, and the sort of spotlight from that point of view. Um, but then how free, how uh, um, uh, free is the Russian press from that point of view? Traditionally, over the years that I've been involved in sport, not very much. So as a principle of going to different countries um, um, is, is right, but it's the process of getting there. I think is wrong. So yeah, I think FIFA have got to look at themselves um, um, very closely, a little bit like the IOC did after Salt Lake of all the politics that are in there and the scandals that are around and, and the bribes going on from that point of view. And the IOC seem to have cleared up, uh, cleared their, their game up and, and uh, heading in the right direction. Um, perhaps it's time that FIFA do that as well now.